How's it going everyone? It's AFC Fitness here again. We're back in Gloucestershire for non-league and it's my favourite competition, the FA Cup. We're here to see Slimbridge take on Shrewling in the qualifying rounds of the FA Cup. Like many on Grounds Ground, I have not been here before. I've been to Slimbridge a few times as a kid. There's a very nice bird sanctuary around here. Zamaldo recommended this place as usual. First one's here about 12.30, committed probably have a look inside in a second but before we do let's find out a little bit about today's host Slimbridge. Slimbridge were officially founded in 1902. They moved to their current home Thornhill Park in the 1950s and would spend the majority of the next 40 years in the Stroudon District League. After a period of financial difficulty a group of committee members led by Gordon King and Gordon Tudor helped to give the club improved facilities which led to them joining the Gloucestershire County League, where they sealed immediate promotion to the Hellenic League Division 1 West. They proceeded to win this league, and later won the Hellenic Premier Division in 2007. Unfortunately, the club were unable to take their place in the Southern League, due to disputes behind the scenes, and they ended up in the Gloucestershire Northern Senior League. Within a few years, they had sealed a series of promotions that saw them return to the Hellenic Premier Division. They transferred to the Western Premier Division in 2013, and in 2015 sealed promotion back to the Southern League. They currently play in the Southern League Division 1 South, hoping to continue their rise through the divisions. Overall, they have won one Hellenic Premier Division, one Gloucestershire Northern Senior League, one Gloucestershire County League, and one Hellenic League Division 1 West. In a bit of trivia, their ground is named Thornhill Park, after Evi Thornhill, a former player who left the land that the club play on to Slimbridge in his will when he passed away in 1960. So those are our hosts, Slimbridge. Let's have a look inside their home, Thornhill Park. Yeah, cause... Hello everyone, so yep, yeah, I'm here too. Uh, yeah, we just arrived and yeah, it looks like a classic non-league ground in the middle of Gloucestershire. Um, they compete in the Southern League and I think for Southern League level, it's actually quite a decent ground. There's not much to talk about in terms of like buildings or stands, there's only two stands but from what we can see, they've got my favourite kind of goal nets, which are the triangular ones. I absolutely adore those ones. So hopefully we don't see another nil-nil. And yeah, we've been made to feel very welcome since we got here. The guy who was on the turnstile seemed very friendly. And yeah, we're just going to go to do our little customary walk around the ground and then go to the clubhouse. We've been we've been starved for goals recently. Like, we've, was it nil-nil? <laughs> Chelton Saracens for the West Ham was a lucky deflected goal. So we're due, we're due a 5-4, I reckon. Which yeah. means it'll be 0-0. No -no. Correct! This is what I mean for scenery. You got that, and then the hills in the background. And there's free food. Gotta love good old Blackberries. In terms of cost, it was £9 for me to get in. We're gonna go to Club Bar in a minute because we're the first ones here. Merseyside Derby will be on telly, so you know, drink and See if we can try some of the food as well. Customary pin badge, four pounds. About 370 for a lovely pint of Stoford Press. Now we got Merseyside Derby on one screen, football focus on the other. I'm liking it here already. And that the best welcome in the world. Hello. Mm, aren't you sweet? It's a good duck. What you got there, Tom? Um it's a nice orange juice and lemonade, also known as Henry's. One of his favourite drinks. How much was that again? 2.20. 2.20, not bad. The away team showing have turned up. How often can you say you're in the club bar with all the teams? Yeah. 2.50 for cheesy chips, but the amount is huge and they're nice and crispy. Well done on the food, Stembridge. Right, Merseyside Derby is finished, still nil. Had a couple of drinks, time to go into our seats. Kick off in about half an hour. Good afternoon, everybody. Pick up the URA. 
15 minutes in, Slimridge have given a penalty, chance to go 1-0 up. Oh. Oh. He's blazed it wide, <laughs> I can't believe it. Golden opportunity and he's blown it. Is that going to come back to haunt them? Half time, Slimbridge now, showing now. And so at half time, it is even at 0 0. It's been a poor game, to be honest. Slimbridge have been the better team, but they had a chance handed them onto a play from the spot and they blew it wide. And now that the momentum has been stopped with half time, are Sholin going to come back in stronger and try and steal the game? As it stands, 0 0. I don't see a goal being scored anytime soon, but could be wrong. We're midway through the second half here. Slimbridge have kept the momentum. They've been the better team, just missed a great header, but <laughs> deadlock just still remains. They cannot break through. And it looks like that game could well end goalless. We'll have to see, but sadly, it looks like we've got another 0-0 on our hands. Full time, and it has finished 0-0, as expected for a long time. But, you know, fair play to Slimbridge, they were the better team, considering these two sides are on the opposite side of the division. But it's a shame they couldn't make a chance count. Right at the end of the game, one of the uh, Slimbridge attackers stole the ball from the keeper and pretty much had an open goal, but defender got back in time and blocked the shot. That would have been incredible. So replay next Tuesday. When we did the Cinderford game at first 0-0, then the replay was like 5-0, which we weren't at, which was just our luck. I'm sure that'll happen again. Sadly, yet another 0-0. Someday we'll get a 5-4. Full time, no goals. So that was Thornhill Park, home of Slimbridge. I've enjoyed it here. I think, you know, it gets good marks in every area. I think there's a very good welcome. What I like about non-league grounds like this is like we did today, you can turn up about three hours before kickoff and there's still a lot to do because at the huge stadiums, it's sort of expected you to turn up like an hour before, but you know, we were able to sit down with loads of people, have a drink and watch like full match on telly, enjoy food and we didn't get bored. Not many times you can say you've been in the pub before the match and all the footballers were there. Nice old fashioned. And you know, very good turnout, quite a passionate crowd. So there's clearly like a decent following here considering their level. Just hope Slimbridge can find their way through in the replay. Overall, very nice experience. This definitely is one of the best non-league ones I've done so far. And another one ticked off the list. Pleasantly surprised once again, just like at Cheltenham Saracens. So that was Thornhill Park, home of Slimbridge. Thank you all for watching. I've been AFC Finners. See you next time and stick with us as we go ground to ground. AFC Finners out.